According to the ACC AHA guidelines, statins should be offered to at-risk patients, and the decision to start this treatment should result from a conversation in which patients and clinicians work together to decide what is best for the patient. That conversation is called shared decision-making. The statin choice decision aid is an evidence-based tool that facilitates these sorts of conversations. It offers individualized estimations of risks and benefits with and without statins. It has been tested in several randomized trials. It works, and it's satisfying for patients and clinicians. Simply prescribing statins to eligible patients is not hard, but it is not always appropriate or effective. This is why, in its 2015 report, the ACC AHA advocated for new performance measures that reflect the delivery of patient-centered care. Specifically, it proposed that performance be measured by the proportion of at-risk patients who are offered statins in a shared decision-making conversation. It specifically highlighted the value of Mayo Clinic's statin choice decision aid and recommended its implementation. While shared decision conversations are neither time-consuming or taxing, implementing shared decision-making into an organization's routine practice is not easy. The Mayo Clinic Care Network is a collaboration of healthcare organizations that have a common goal of achieving optimal and patient-centered care. As a learning healthcare system, the Mayo Clinic Care Network is motivated to draw upon the experience and understanding of its members to advance the practice and drive patient-centered change. Over a one-year process, implementation researchers from the Knowledge and Evaluation Research Unit worked with three Care Network members to better understand the real-world challenges of integrating statin choice into routine primary care. This is what they learned. Ultimately, the organization will need to make a commitment to practice change. You will need to organize an interdisciplinary team and delegate key responsibilities. You will need to make sure everyone on the team understands that the tool itself is not the intervention and that its purpose is to facilitate shared decision making. It is critically important that your team understands what shared decision making is and how this improves the quality and patient-centeredness of care in your organization. Your team will need to be able to communicate this message to the clinical staff. They will also need to be familiar with how the tool works and be able to demonstrate its use. This will require brief educational presentations from a physician champion as well as in-person or virtual demonstrations. We recommend clinicians practice using the tool with one another first. Because encounter time is always limited, it's important to integrate the tool into your electronic health record so that the patient variables auto-populate. This saves time and clicks and increases clinician and patient satisfaction. We have created step-by-step -step guides on how to do this in your organization. Once you go live, it is helpful to connect implementation efforts to larger, ongoing efforts to improve the patient-centeredness of care in your organization and to achieve the type of world-class culture that patients appreciate. Messages from institutional leadership and engagement of your communication staff can be helpful in this regard. It may also be helpful to survey your patients and assess the impact of your efforts. If your organization is small and the clinicians communicate regularly, implementation may be possible with only a single physician champion. If your organization is spread out over several clinics and across a geographic area, a more strategic communication and training strategy will be required. The toolkit presented here is an example of the innovative power of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. We enjoyed making it, and we hope that through our efforts, your organization will be able to promote rapid uptake and integration of the Statin Choice Decision Aid. After all, if we want to make right care the standard of care, we will have to work together with our patients. Please explore the materials on this site and contact us if you have any questions. We hope this work will help you offer patient-centered care for all.